All right, on this video, we are going to try a Nextcloud install. I've never personally used Nextcloud, but I had someone uh, request an install, so we're going to see if we can figure it out. So far, what I've learned is that there is a built-in user and user group. So if you click this Show Built-in Users, there's one called www-data. So it looks like the documentation for Nextcloud is going to use this owner or user and group. So the good news is we could go into data sets. We could create a whole new data set just for our Nextcloud instance. But I don't want to do that. So we're going to see if this works. So our existing media data set with everything on it. Remember, we have that set wide open. So read, write, execute for everybody, which you can't see because my face is in the way. Read, write, execute, wide open. So we shouldn't have an issue with that www-data accessing any of that. So what we did is I just created a Nextcloud folder in my TrueNAS media folder. So, you know, I've got everything in here. My image backups, movies, movies 4K, music, photos, TV 4K, all that crap. So I just created a new folder next cloud and this is what we're going to try to set up as our host folder in a little bit so if we go to apps discover apps and we type in next cloud uh, one weird thing is it's not available on the true charts it's only a, a true nas option right now so next cloud then we click install, certificate, TrueNAS default. We'll put in a password here. The data directory, just leave that the same. Install FFmpeg, install SMB client. And then down here for storage, enable host path. This will give us our options here. And then we'll just drill down until we hit our next cloud folder. So that should be all we have to do. Uh, the Postgres is just like a structured query language database that it's going to do. So we'll just leave that to default. Backup, that's fine. Uh, let's enable a cron job. Um, star slash 15 star 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 is uh, every 15 minutes it's going to run a cron job um, so I'd imagine that will help with locating files that you are updating every 15 minutes and updating the server that way I'd imagine and we're going to install and see what happens okay I had to do a force refresh with the uh, function shift f5 to get this to refresh because it still seems to be a little bit buggy in true nas scale um, but it's still deploying so this might take a couple minutes so we'll check back in in a moment okay so that was a little painful so i originally installed the collabora true charts version because i usually prefer the true charts because couldn't get it to work so I deleted that one and then I installed the TrueNAS IX systems release and it just kind of works so I'm gonna go over the settings for this it's just cuz if you're, you're struggling along like me whatever so name it whatever you had to I had to name it Collabora 2 because I already had Collabora installed at the time didn't change anything you have to put in a username and a password it fills in the server name for you scroll all the way down it fills in the web port for you you have to select TrueNAS default certificate here and then I added additional storage as host path I called it backslash next cloud as the mount path and I again pointed that towards the next cloud folder that we developed or that we created already don't know if that's necessary but figure it can't hurt for extra storage and then I hit save 
that was it. So once that was up and running, you can hit web portal, you can log in, you can see that it's working here, doing whatever it's doing, the Collabora Online Development Edition Admin Console. While we're waiting for more of that to launch, we're going to install another app called Collabora. So we'll type that in there and we'll go for the true charts version. Um, I just think that it usually goes a little bit smoother and uh, usually a little quicker updates. Install. We'll give it a password here. Additional app storage just in case. And we'll do that same drilled down next cloud folder. And now we don't want that. And we'll try that and we'll see if that works. All right, so Nextcloud is still deploying, but I heard that could take a minute or two. My requester, I think, is a little broken because that's been deploying for about 12 days. And then Collabora is also deploying. So let's do a function shift F5 and we'll see if any of these update. All right, next cloud appears to be running. So let's hit the web portal and see what happens. Awesome. Told that this does happen and you just need to give it more time to actually boot up. So let's give it another two minutes and we'll check back in. Oh, turns out I just needed to hit proceed even though it's unsafe. So now let's see if that Cool. Seems to have worked here. Next cloud on all of your devices. So it looks like this is going to work. And the reason I trust it is because I have everything again running through Tailscale. So you can do more advanced stuff with reverse proxies and all of that. But if it's just going to be on machines that you are working on and trust, I think Tailscale is the way to go. Um, you just add those as trusted devices to your sc tail scale account, and it looks like this will work. Again, I'm not super familiar with Nextcloud, but it is up and running as far as I can tell. Uh, I'll play around a little bit more, and if there's anything other beneficial, I'll add it after this. Okay, forgot the most important part. We should tell it that we are hosting our own server, uh, and we want to enable some sort of office suite so that we can work with traditional files. So to do that, you've got to click on the top right corner here on your admin portal, plus apps. It'll bring you to this crazy fun page here where we've got to go to featured apps. Nope. Office. So from here, we're just going to look for Next Cloud Office. Download and enable to Admin Settings. 
Then we went back down to office. That got us here. And then we typed in our 192.168.29.30. Let's see if this works without the... No. All right, so you need your HTTPS colon slash slash, then your server IP address, and then that 9980. And then when you hit save, it tells us everything is up and running. So now I'm going to download the app on my iPhone and make sure that it is communicating with what's on there, and that'll be our last step. Okay, so we've downloaded the Nextcloud app to our phone, and Upon logging in, it'll say enter the address of your server. So we're going to enter in the HTTPS colon slash slash the URL or the IP address of our server, which again, mine for all of this is 192.168.29.30. And then the port of the actual instance of Nextcloud, not the port of Collabora, which was 99.80. This defaulted to 9001, and fingers crossed here. Connect our account, log in. All right, so this is just going to be admin, as we set up earlier. And then enter in my super secure password here. Log in. Grant access. Boom. So I have access now that I am on our network. So again, we've got Tailscale already enabled and already verified on this device. So when I'm away from home, I should be able to just turn on Tailscale. and go back in and it should be like I am just at home and this is my admin page. Now again, I don't know how to work uh, Nextcloud, but it seems kind of cool, documents, whatnot, but at least it's set up and it appears to be working now. So if you guys, uh, I don't know, want to show me a video of how to, how to use Nextcloud and what all it can do, awesome. I'll keep messing about. Cool suggestion by Dr. Abraham Malia. Awesome. Hopefully this uh, is what you needed and uh, gets it up and running for you. If not, let me know in the comments. Uh, but again, we got Nextcloud set up start to finish on our server and on our iPhone. If you've got a laptop, same thing. We just have to add that to Tailscale and you should be able to connect from anywhere and use this as a, a local Dropbox or cloud storage, however you want to look at it. Uh, so I hope that helps at least one or two of you. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and let me know through those buttons that you want more. Thanks again.